Hi, my name is Jeff Bennett. I'm with Suburban Hockey Schools, and today we're here to talk about passing and receiving. So, let's have a look here, guys. As we're getting ready to pass the puck, you want to make sure you're starting the puck back on the back part of your foot, and you're going to have a slight weight transfer from your back foot forward to your front foot. And as you release that puck, you're going to bring your arms forward, releasing that puck facing your target, just like that. So as that puck's going, we got a weight transfer coming forward, releasing towards your target, making sure your stick stays right down to the ice so you're ready to receive your pass. Go ahead, spins right off the puck and release it. Good, back and forth. A little bit harder, fellas. So as you're passing back and forth, slight weight transfer, notice their arms are coming through, they have a quick little wrist movement with their arms and that puck is staying nice and flat to the ice as they're going. Now, the other aspect is receiving the pass. After you make the pass, you gotta make sure you always keep your stick right down to the ice so you can receive your next pass. As that puck comes to you, you wanna make sure, go ahead, pass me the puck, you gotta keep your stick down, and you actually need to catch it. You notice, as that puck came to me, I caught it, and I'm in a good position right now to stick handle, to pass, to shoot, making sure that you're in that proper area. Good, a little bit harder, guys, back and forth. Passing it, catching it, receiving it. Knees are bent, surrounding that puck, Nice arm movement, wrist movement, as they release. Okay, stop for one second, guys. Common problem, you see some times when you see players having their hands attached to their, their hip area here. You wanna make sure your arms are out and you have fluid motion back and forth in this area. Let's take a look at the hands now, guys. Go ahead, passing, back and forth. Arms are out away from their body, go ahead. Not quite too far. A Little bit harder, zipping that puck, spinning it from the heel to the toe of your stick back and forth, transferring that weight. Okay, now we'll put this to motion. Passing the puck while you're moving, a couple things to take into consideration. One, you gotta have some ar your arm movement going along with your feet movement as you're going down the ice, as well as you gotta make sure you're leading your partner. So it's gonna look something like this. Lyle, you ready? Notice, as they're moving, they're leading their partner down the ice, as well as keeping their stick on the ice 